Hi, are you struggling to integrate with business software solutions? Boosting business can sometimes feel like solving a complex puzzle. One powerful combination that's reshaping business operations is the integration of ERP Next with WooCommerce Solution. On AWS Marketplace, search for ERP Next Enterprises with WooCommerce Solutions. Here, choose continue to subscribe and accept the terms. Select continue to configuration. Follows that, click continue to launch. Select usage instructions and open the URL for reference. Choose to launch through EC2 and then launch. It redirects to the launch instance page, where you configure the required details. Enter the stack name. Choose the recommended instance type as to medium and select key pair, network setting, and storage configuration. Select launch instance. Go to the EC2 dashboard and select your created instance. Fetch the public IP. Provide the public IP in the browser. The login page appears for the ERP Next application. Now enter the username and password as shown. Select login and configure the basic setup of ERP Next. To configure WooCommerce, provide the public IP with colon 8080 in the browser. The login page appears for WordPress. Configure the basic information needed. Log into the WordPress dashboard. Go to the Plugins menu, and then select Add New Plugin in the top left of the screen. Search WooCommerce and install on WooCommerce. Activate the WooCommerce plugin to the WordPress website. From the WooCommerce website, select Add New User under User, and register as a new user on the account page. Select Products, and select Start Import on WordPress Dashboard. To download the sample file use the link from the user manual, and look for the link WooCommerce Sample Product File. Select the Choose File to locate the CSV file downloaded. Now, select Upload File. Select Continue and run the importer. Products and images have been imported. Go to WooCommerce. Settings
Shipping and Shipping Zones Configure as per requirement Settings Payments Select Cash on Delivery Select Setup to access the Cash on Delivery configuration settings and others as per requirement. Save Changes To configure WooCommerce settings on ERP Next. On the ERP Next site, go to Home, press Ctrl plus G, and search WooCommerce settings. To generate API key and API secret, from the WooCommerce site sidebar, on Settings, select the Advanced tab and select the REST API link. Select the Add Key button and select on Generate API Key button. Provide the API key and secret generated in the previous step into the API consumer key and API consumer secret fields. In the WooCommerce server URL, provide the URL of the WooCommerce site. Make sure Enable Sync is checked. Select the Tax Account and Freight and Forwarding Account in the Account Details section. Select the Creation User in the Default section. This user will be used to create customers, items, and sales orders. Ensure that the user has the relevant permissions. Select the company that will be used to create the sales orders and save it. Saving the WooCom settings, secret, and endpoint are generated automatically. On the WooCommerce site sidebar, go to Settings, select the Advanced tab and the Webhooks link, and select Add Webhook. Give the webhook a name of your choice. Select the dropdown and select Active. Select Topic as Order Created. Fetch the endpoint from the WooCommerce settings, doc type in the ERP Next site. And provide it in the delivery URL field. Fetch secret from WooCommerce settings, doc type in your ERP Next site, and provide it in the secret field. Keep API version the same and save webhook. ERP Next is successfully set up. Now log in as a new user on WooCommerce Shop. Select on Shop option, and available products can be seen. Add the desired products to the cart. and select View Cart. From the cart, once added the desired products, select Proceed to Checkout. All billing details and order details can be seen. Select on Place Order. Order Received message can be seen, indicating that the order has been placed successfully. Go to the ERP Next and fetch the following document types, Customer, Sales Order, and Address.
Now the system creates sales orders and ERP next for the orders created on WooCommerce using the WooCommerce webhook. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our previous videos and we'll see you in the next one.